So welcome back to another episode and today I'm reviewing ARMS on the Nintendo Switch and this is going to start off a little bit interesting and there's been a lot of hype building up towards ARMS, there's been a lot of people talking about it, Nintendo has been pushing it like crazy and so I got this review copy and I sat down and I started playing it and I started playing it single player mode and I thought Okay, this is a cool arena style fighting game and I'll start off talking about what the game is before I get into that is it's very much like some older games that we may remember like Power Stone. It really reminds me of Power Stone and not a lot of people have done that comparison but you know like Power Stone, like Virtual On. You're set in an arena, there's a bunch of fighters, you're fighting against each other. In this one you're using your arms to attack your opponent and so I was playing it on my own and I thought yeah, this is okay. I wasn't that blown away at first. At first, I have to say that I thought, oh, this is pretty cool. Like, it's there's a lot of stuff you can do. You can unlock arms by making money in different uh, modes throughout the game. And so that's a kind of cool feature, unlocking all that kind of stuff. But playing the one-player mode, I thought was okay. You had to, you know, go through ten players, uh, you know, in the single-player mode, and then you get to the ending, and that's kind of it. And I thought, oh... That's basically, that's this, this is all there is to this game. I was very mistaken. And I did not start having fun with this game. I didn't start having a great deal of fun with this game until I did online mode. And that is where the game really shines. And I'm going to get into that mode in a second. I'm just going to go through all the different modes because there is quite a few. As I said, there's Grand Prix mode. That's where you fight 10 opponents and defeat them in the one player mode. There's also versus mode and this mode is quite huge. You can compete up to four players. Yeah, in versus mode there's a lot. There's fight mode, there's team fight, there's V-ball where you play volleyball against your opponents and you knock a ball over the net and if it lands on their side it blows up and you get the points on your side. It's a hell of a lot of fun. The other really cool one was hoops. That's where you play basketball with your opponents so you can grab your opponents and slam dunk them into the net. That feels so good. Skill shot is where you use your arms to destroy targets within an allotted period of time. The more you strike down within that time, the better you do, the more fight money you get. There's one on 100 mode. That's where you fight 100 AI robots and you have an allotted time to defeat them and they just keep regenerating up to 100. There's arms test, that's where you try random arm attachments and you can go for a win streak. And then there's training mode and this is where I spent quite a bit of time figuring out how to use the Joy-Cons in this game. A lot of people are talking about it. Should you use the Joy-Cons or should you use a Pro Controller? Here's the thing. I think the Pro Controller is the way to go. It is my preferred way to play this game. I feel I have more control, but that is not taking anything away from the Joy-Cons. The Joy-Cons control really well, but sometimes I get a little muddied up with the controls with what I'm doing, but they work incredibly well. I set it up in the living room and I was trying all of the different modes with this, trying every single you know move out. Everything worked really, really well, but in the end of the day, when I'm online and I don't want to freaking die, I don't want to destroy my opponents, slam dunk their asses into some baskets, I use the Pro Controller. It hasn't let me down so far. Back to the modes, there's Party Match, where you can go online with a couple of players and just fight it out just for fun, not ranked or anything. But if you do want ranked, there is the Ranked Mode, and that's where you can go online and become ranked with the best players in the entire world. I am not there yet. There's Friends, where you can go online with your friends and just play that. There's also local where you can just play local players in your area. There's quite a few modes in this game. Now, I gotta talk about the graphics here for a second. When I first saw these graphics, I really didn't know what to think. I'm like, is this the Dreamcast 2.0? And that wasn't an insult, that was a compliment because I thought the graphics were very, very arcadey looking. It's a very cartoony look, it's very smooth. I like the aesthetics of this game quite a lot. And I think all of the different characters blend into the world 
completely perfectly. Yeah, the character aesthetics are really good. You got Spring Man, Ribbon Girl, Ninjaro, Master Mummy, Min Min, Mechanica. You know, the list goes on. Like, all of the characters really work incredibly well in this world. And that's something we gotta get into. We gotta get into a little bit more of the gameplay. And this is something I really wanna touch on. The gameplay is deceptively simple. When I was first playing it, I thought, oh, this is a very simplistic style game. When I got online and started playing against players that really knew what they were doing, I had to learn extremely fast. And obviously you can go left to right, you can dash forward, you can jump with some characters, you can double jump with other characters, you can grab with both hands and throw the other character, you can dash in midair, you can kind of just dodge off to the side and then do a leaping attack forward. You see, the more you get in, the more you can do. The more you play the game, the better at it you get. And let me say for myself, I am still getting better at it. But every single time I play the game, I start to see almost what I can do at a single frame. When I'm standing against an opponent and they start attacking me, or you know, start launching their arms towards me, I almost can see the split second when I can double jump and dodge to the left and grab that person and slam dunk them. I can see those moments happening when at first you're just trying to just wave your arms and that works and you'll be doing this a lot with the Joy-Cons. But if you slow down, take your time and start thinking about your actions before you do them, it becomes a much more rewarding game. And that's what I said when I first started playing the game. I thought, oh, it's just, you know, an arena style fighter, some kind of cool characters, whatever. I beat the game, what else is there? No, the game is very, very deep. And that's why I think there's gonna be these huge tournaments, there's gonna be some incredible players. I think this is definitely gonna be a versus game, you know, that will show up at Evo one day. That would be really awesome to see that. I know they're having tournaments on their own, but I am getting better at it. But it is a game where the more you play, the better at it you will get. You will learn more techniques. It is deceptively simple. I know I'm saying that again, but I can't stress that enough. And all of the different characters have so many unique, different kinds of attacks, so many different kinds of arms you can get that change your attack. So here's the thing, when you are playing the game, and you kind of swing your arms out with your Joy-Cons, you can twist the analogs to move the arms in mid uh, in mid air. So you can move them towards your opponents. You can be jumping in the air and you know, blasting your arms this way or blasting them that way, depending on where your opponent is. Obviously, you want to be going towards your opponent. That is something that takes a while to master. And I'm still getting the hang of all of the techniques, but that's what I got to get to here. Is this game fun? When I went online and I was playing four people, there's four of us in one match at the same time, it was so much fun. I was having a super blast and I was addicted to it. I didn't want to stop. And then I was playing against my friend Victor Lucas and I'm slamming him into uh, you know the backgrounds of certain uh, stages and it felt so good. I defeated him so many times in a row. I started feeling better and better at the game. And I really like ARMS. ARMS is a fascinating game. It's a game that you can really judge a book by its cover. I did more than anybody. When this game was revealed, I was like, ooh. That was my initial reaction. I was like, I don't like this. This is not the game for me. It looks like a novelty game just to use the Joy-Cons. But you don't need to use the Joy-Cons. You can play with a Pro Controller or you can play with the Joy-Cons. I recommend the Joy-Cons too. It really is deceptive. I thought this game was going to suck. And it doesn't. It's a lot more fun than I could have ever imagined. It's kind of a, a surprise hit. And I wonder if it's going to be a sleeper hit. If a lot of people will have that same kind of reaction I did saying, oh, I don't know if this is the game for me. I'm here to say this game is a lot of fun. Is it worth the full retail asking price? That's debatable. That's debatable. But I come back to Power Stone and Virtual On. At the time these were released, these were you know full retail price. Were people arguing back then, is this worth it? If you want to play the game, you want to jump in, you have to play, you know, pay, play, full retail price. And I did back then with Power Stone, and it depends on how much you want to get out of this game. Do you want to unlock all the different arm attachments? Do you want to get, the, you know, to be number one in the world ranked? That's up to you. This game 
It's going to be what you want it to be. You're going to get as much out of it as you want to get out of it. It is one of those types of games because it is an arena style fighting game at its core, but there's a lot of deep levels to it. And I'm giving this an 8.5 out of 10. I'm not giving it the full uh, more than that. There's not enough characters in there. There's only like 10 characters. I also, I can't talk about some secret ending stuff that's in there, some other secret characters I cannot mention, which kind of limits it, but I'm giving it an 8.5. I think that's a really great score for a game that I really thought was going to suck, and it definitely didn't. So anyways, guys, until next time.